keep very quiet. I'm hunting CEOs and trust fund babies. Guys, you know, I, I think we should do the found footage thing. It's genius. Not really. Oh, come on. It's really big in filmmaking, especially right now. Yeah, really. like oh, 14 years ago when Slender Man was a thing. It was <laughs> also <laughs> some madman robbed me and then threw me in the trunk of hey, this uh, car. Fritz, isn't that where you normally end up when uh, you're on a date with Seymour? Am I right? <laughs> he wore a mask and he had a claw for a hand and he spoke with the most ridiculous fake hoity twity accent I have ever heard in my bloody lifetime. Be not woodland creature. I am Archduke, Avenger of the Avengeful, Salvager of the Sorrowful. Anyway, he stole the gold crown from atop my head and my clothes to give them all to the poor and destitute. Haven't the poor suffered enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! I just realized something. Archduke is back in town. I mean, doesn't New York City have enough vigilantes and enough criminals as Oh is? my god. Genius moment, you guys. Gonna, I you have it. Let me out. We I can do a documentary on the Archduke. No, no, be, no, no. Because we are not getting entangled with that lunatic. And we're not going to get entangled. We just got to, you know, rope him up, interrogate and humiliate him and cash in on his humiliation. Guys? Guys? <laughs> Excuse me, Claire, where do you think you're going? Cutting through the park while it's daylight and it's still safe to do no, so? No, 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 no. That is not the park. That is Woodyland. Woodrow and I have opened up our own theme park. It is America's number one family what attraction. That is not a theme park. It's Central Park. It's public land. Which is why I am totally within my rights to open up a theme park there and make a profit off of it. You know, Matt, if you're that hard up for wood. <laughs> I thought you'd think of climbing a tree without anybody getting You it. are aware that I'm a park ranger? Dude, it's your day mm, off. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I can't make a phone call and call one of my friends who is on duty right now. Narc. Oh. <laughs> That'll be $75 for admission to Woody Land, plus a $35 fee if you want to go on any of the rides, and $40 to take a tour of Cinderella's castle. Woodrow was briefly married to her. She was his beard. And um, we caught her this morning doing some very, very dirty things with the mice. So we had to throw the bitch in the dungeon and she's getting beheaded tomorrow. Yay! That is the park ranger's side. Park quarters. rangers work for me now. They don't know it. Don't tell Fritz because then he'll expect a paycheck. And oh, um, you want me to call him? Fine, clarifying, you get into Woody Land for free then. You win. You don't win fair, but you win. to go right diagonal. You gobble piece of garbage. I just took your guy. Hey, Fritz. How was work? Well, you know, it was work. Pius, what are you doing? Well, Fritz, you know how I had that uh, crisis of faith a couple of months ago? Well, I'm now exploring some alternate spiritual paths. Hmm. And last night while I was watching Wonder Woman on TV, it hit me. I found the perfect alternate god for me to worship. Aries! Okay, I would have picked Thor myself, but more power to you. <laughs> Seymour! <laughs> Maybe I should have been more specific when I suggested we play with other guys in my bed. Asher was not one of the options. So what are you guys up to anyway? Well, I'm cheating at checkers. In other news, I 
did finally find a co-producer. Uh, co-producer, co-producer for what? For his documentary about catching the arch. Yeah, sure, you're still on that kick. Really? I'm kicking your ass, dude. Okay, guys. Lights, camera, action! All right, so, um, yeah, where's that uh, gay park ranger of whom we share custody? I get custody. You get visitation rights. Hold it right there. He's my roommate, so I have custody. You get the visitation rights. Excuse me, can we just get this over with? You know, I don't have time for this shit, really. I have a full-time job, and I can't just sit around the apartment like you do all day, as you're playing video games, whining about being unemployed, and I don't run a comic book store where we just sit around reading comic books, playing video games, and playing with little dollies. Ooh. I mean, action figures. Why are you talking down to me like you're my third father? And why are you acting like the master cinematographer when you are not? You're being a dick. You're being an ass. Shoot the miking out. Will you knock it <laughs> off? Notice the two bickering homo sapiens as they quarrel like primitive children. Who are the extraordinary specimens? One is acting like a circuit father while the other is a blowhard. But the old one needs to be careful, since he would like the blowhard to blow him just again someday. Give me that. Yeah, Fritz, you're a real stick in the mud. Why don't you just take that stick and shove it up your ass? Oh, come on. Fritz would enjoy that way too much. <laughs> you know what? Fuck all four of you. If you can't stand the heat, Fritz. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting the Sheriff of Nottingham and his fellow oppressors of Sherwood Forest. <laughs> By the way, do you know where Asher is? Frankly, I'm more worried about Fritz. Oh look, there's Hal and Connie, Fritz's friends. Maybe they'll know where he They're is. They're not his friends, they're his co-workers. Fritz doesn't have friends. He has co-workers and family and that. Have you guys seen Fritz? He never came home last night. Oh yeah, there's a real shock. No, sorry. Look, you know he doesn't treat you very well. And I don't know if you've ever noticed this or not, but there are times that he can be rather condescending towards you. It's really very sad. What's with the net? Oh, this net? A few friends and I are doing a documentary on catching the arch. <laughs> and you're gonna catch him with that thing? Uh, <laughs> Great plan. <laughs> listen, kid, leave the vigilante catching to the professionals. <laughs> wait, we're the professionals? Yeah. I've been on the force for like 15 years now. Oh, wait, are you insinuating I'm some kind of amateur? No, no. I'm saying I have more experience. Okay, well, excuse me, but I am not the one who had to go on disability for shooting myself in the foot a couple years ago. Yeah, that really sucked. And that was my good foot, too. Your good foot? What happened to the other one? I shot that one the second day on the job. <laughs>
<laughs> Excuse me, that'll be $75. $75? Why? Uh, plus another uh, 55 if you actually want to go on any of the rides. Wait, 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 wait. Do you even have a permit? <laughs> You are being such a silly girl right now. I don't need a permit. It's the American uh, way. Yeah, you do need one. Did Ponce de Leon need a permit when he decided to build that giant McDonald's next to Pocahontas's teepee or wigwam or whatever the hell she lived he in? He most certainly did, Prometheus. He did? Yes. Where's your permit? I must have missed that day in history class. What's wrong? You told me before we went into business together that you knew all about this type of stuff. What have you got to say for yourself? Can you believe that rat ass bastard? Oh my god, he's always getting me into trouble like this. Oh. Certainly is. Still need a permit. Fritz. 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 What are you doing? Oh, oh. Fritz, I told you I might be able to get into this stuff at one point. You just have to give me time. I can't, I can't believe you're cheating on me already. Wait, wait, you saw the Archduke? This is going to be great for the documentary. I, I have to go get Asher. Thanks, Asher. Uh, here's your cut. You should have seen Fritz's face. You really got him good. Yeah, Asher here. Look, you want anything from the cafe? Oh, yeah, Asher. I'd uh, like a latte. And, uh... I wasn't actually offering. I was just being nice. Sheesh. Wait. If you're there, and you're here, I was watching footage from the movie you, Asher, and I are working on. Oh, uh, how's it turning out? Pretty good, actually, but, um, do you ever have a problem with the tone I take with well, you? Well, uh, sometimes you can be a little... dickish? It just seems like you're carrying around baggage from, uh, something in your past. How was your last relationship, Fritz? With Ben? <laughs> with Ben, it was good, you know? I mean, we were like two peas in a pod, and, you know... Perfect. Until he got that job offer in Seattle and he took the job and moved there and we went our separate uh, ways. What was it like before he moved to Seattle? Um, I cheated on him. Twice, two different guys. I felt like shit both times. First time I just couldn't believe I would ever do that to somebody like him, and I swore I would never do it again, and six months later, was, everything was so perfect. And from previous experience, I had learned that perfect doesn't, I don't know if perfect really exists, but if perfect exists, it certainly doesn't last. Oh, well, I get you, and I'm not going anywhere. Thank you for that.